Hello all, welcome back, especially all you kids. We're back here again with Eva. <laughs> Are you happy, Eva? Are you excited? No, you're too excited. Okay, look, look. Oh, you're way excited. Okay, are you excited to see your new bike? Now that we put a motor on it, okay, as I said last time, we were gonna think of an idea to put on a motor onto your so-called bike. bike. Yeah, but I think it's more of a more of a go-kart bike. That's what we said it was, right? Because it's a go-kart with paddle, like a bike, but it's not a bike, right? So let's take a look and see what kind of idea we Last time we said we had an idea, but I did have a very good idea, which we put on. So let's look at the bike. Okay, right there it is. Okay, Mommy, so what I have done is I had an old treadmill that I threw away, but I kept the control and kept the motors, the motor from it. So if you look right here, this is the actual control for the treadmill. You have the on button speed mode and all that sort that calculates you know cal calorie time speed and all that sort that's control that we took off the old treadmill and if you look right here this is the motor that came out of the treadmill it is uh it is a uh not a it's an ac motor not a dc motor so with that being said basically i had to use an inverter a 750 watt inverter along with a 12 volt battery that'll convert the AC the AC to DC uh, the the uh, DC to AC <laughs> to DC or or DC to AC there you go um, but in here is the control box I made out of aluminum just put an aluminum cover over it and some duct tape right here and then connected to here is the actual 12 volt battery now basically I took three pieces of plywood. There's one piece here, one piece here, one piece here. And I just basically put them off to the bike and secured them down with U-bolts. You look right here, the U-bolts secure them tightly onto the bike. Now there's a reason, particular reason I chose a uh, 750 watt because this motor can only go so fast and then the 750 watt will turn off if you go too fast. For a little five year old, you obviously don't wanna go, let them go too fast. So when it reaches the maximum that it can push the motor, it'll stop. So just in case the five year old like Eva, of course, pushes it too fast, it'll just stop. So this thing can actually go pretty fast with no weight load on it. But when you put a weight load on it, and if you go too fast, it'll stop. That's the emergency. And up here is also another uh, emergency key. It's, of course, the treadmill key. And it's attached to the person who rides it. So if the person falls off, it'll pull the kill switch. And the bike will stop. So here you are. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and give it a test. First the inverter. Now the bike, and we can test to see how fast it can actually go. How fast it can actually go without any weight load on it. So I'm gonna lift it up real fast. Like I told you last time, it is one wheel drive. We're gonna turn it on. And there it goes. That's one. The treadmill can go up to ten. So let's see if those will go the max. 